We are back with a story that is all new at six. Today, one of the world's largest tech companies brought its AI conference to the convention center and with it, the company's vision of an AI future. Our Matt Gregory is at the convention center tonight. And Matt, I guess, why is this massive AI conference here in DC? The Trump administration has made AI a core platform of the next four years. And so with that, AI has brought its vision of an open AI, open house rather, here to DC to the convention center. In fact, the CEO of, of NVIDIA called this the Super Bowl of AI. And with that, he wanted to share sort of his vision and the vision of other tech folks, their view of what AI will do to the future of your life as you're watching this at home. Now this, folks, is Jensen Huang. He is the one of the wealthiest Americans, a billionaire several times over, and he is the CEO of tech juggernaut NVIDIA. Think of him like the Steve Jobs of NVIDIA and of AI. So today he brought up what he wanted to do in a two-hour presentation, his vision for AI. He announced his company actually bought $1 billion worth of the wireless phone company Nokia, not to build a 5G network like we keep seeing on our phones, but a 6G AI network and explained how with a partnership with the Department of Energy they're building seven AI supercomputers across the country. Now this is the part that's probably something that's going to be relevant to you. Huang talked about how AI is nearly ready to do jobs beyond your chat bots like chat GPT as in robotax, robo taxis, minor surgery robots and tasks that humans would do now. So we asked him when he gave us a chance what does this mean for American workers? I would tell them one we're going to move manufacturing back to the United States. Uh, we need a lot of mechanical, electrical, plumbing, uh, construction, uh, skilled craft workers. We desperately need them. You're not going to lose your job to an AI. You're going to lose your job to somebody who uses AI. And so I would advise everyone to engage AI. Now, coming up at 11, if you've been paying attention at all to your electric bill, and it's been going up like so many of ours, you probably have heard by now that data centers and AI play a large role in those skyrocketing costs. So coming up at 11, we asked Jensen, what is the idea to get more energy out of the grid and do that without costing Americans more money? We'll have his answer coming up tonight at 11 on WSA 9. But for now, at the convention center, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. Okay, you've done a lot of reporting on this, Matt, so we'll be interested to hear what you hear tonight at 11. All right, thanks, Matt.